This time, instead of downloading a template, we'll go through the steps of making an easy and simple template of your own for an insert tray that will fit any size of cartridge inside any size of box you might need. To get things started, this is what we're going for. Originally supplied with most games, this was probably the first thing that went straight to the trash after the plastic wrapping. But if you intend on keeping a game on its original box, or a reproduction box of any kind, these inner trays are a great way to keep the cartridge from dancing around the box every time you need to handle them. It's not a fancy design with complex cuts and folds, but that's the idea. It's something that anyone can make, cut and assemble easily. The first thing you need to do is take your box's measurements. I'll use the Game Boy boxes as reference, but you can apply this to any box and any cartridge you'd like. Once you've done that, remove 2 mm or 0.1 inch from each one of those numbers. Now, you can do this by hand or by using a vector program. In this example, I'll be using Inkscape, which is a free and open source software. I'll leave a link in the description so you can take a look later. This is the first screen you'll see when opening the program. Right click the black color and set it as stroke. Right click the white color and set it to fill. Using the square tool, draw a rectangle of any size and select the arrow tool. Select your square and on the top of the screen you'll see the dimensions. Here, change from pixels to inches or centimeters, whatever you're going for. Then, replace the measurements with the ones you've taken before. Remember to remove 0.1 inch or 2 mm from the full size, otherwise they won't fit inside the box. With the shape still selected, go to Edit and Duplicate. It will look like nothing happened, but don't worry. Click on the arrow and drag it to the opposite side, like so. Now change the value to match the depth of the box. Click on the center one, duplicate it again and do the same thing to the other side. And then the same thing up and down. On the top and bottom ones, do it once more, so you end up with a second fold of the same size. Just like that. We're almost there, now duplicate the side flaps and stretch them up and down so it closes in a square.
zoom in if needed to make fine adjustments. Now for the cartridge slot, duplicate the center shape once more and insert the cartridge's measurements on the top. This time instead of removing, remember to add an extra 0.1 inch or 2 millimeters so the cartridge can fit nicely. With the slot still selected, hold shift and also select the center shape. Go to Object, Align and Distribute, and this side menu will pop up. With both shapes still selected, click these two buttons, Center Vertically and Horizontally. And that's it, your template's done. If you decide to do this by hand, grab some graph paper and follow the same steps. You can do it just as easily as you would in the computer. You only need to make this template once, then you can transfer it to the cardboard paper of your choice using graphite paper, which is cheap and can be found anywhere they sell office supplies, or use any other method you'd like. Before cutting, make sure you crease all the folds properly using a ruler and the back of a cutting knife, or an old pen with no ink, or something sharp, but not sharp enough to cut the paper all the way through. Then after cutting it out, just cut these flaps and the X on the center slot, using the corners for reference. Then all you need to do is fold it like in the video, and you're done, no glue needed. This works for any cartridge and any box. And of course, not only games, you can use this idea to store anything inside anything else. By making it yourself, you can also go crazy with the paper choice. You can use colored paper, paper with texture, I mean, there's no limit to what you can do. So just take your time and don't do it in a rush. And I hope you like the results. Thank you for watching.